Hey guys, HMK you're back again with another breaking news Kingdom Hearts 3 video. Now the breaking news is that localization for Kingdom Hearts 3 has begun apparently? Hmm. I was doing one of my casual strolls in the Reddit community, you know, the Kingdom Hearts 3 subreddit, and found this interesting post by this guy named Mike Dalzona. His name is Mikey, an audio engineer from New York City that has a friend in Skylark Sound Studios that sent him a piece of dubbing for the new Kingdom Hearts 3 video game that is being developed right now since he's a Disney fan. And listen for yourself, it sounds a bit like Ben Diskin voicing young Xehanort for the E3 teaser trailer of the Keyblade War and the Lost Masters. Take a listen. Have you heard of the ancient Keyblade War? Many years ago, Keyblade wielders started a war of the ownership of light. What do you think? Does that sound like young Xehanort to you? To me, it does, but his voice gradually gets deeper and deeper. And the one thing, well, a couple of things that I find weird with this is that the localization process for video games happens very late in development, especially for games that are being developed elsewhere. In this case, Kingdom Hearts 3 in Japan. We're getting English voice acting at this point. That's kind of weird. And even when I interviewed Paul St. Peter, who is the voice of Xemnas, Two years ago, he says, during the development for Kingdom Hearts 2, 350 over 2 days and Dream Job Distance, he was one of the last people to call to voice Xemnas because dubbing in a video game happens very, very, very late in the localization process or the entire video game development process. So that's kind of weird. Also, i like to note that in this Reddit post, he says, for new Kingdom Hearts video game, for the new Disney video game Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts voice actors. He, does, he doesn't say anything about Kingdom Hearts 3, but he says that recently you've all acquired information of a potential voiceover from actor Haley Joel Osment. As it turns out, due to contractual agreements, he cannot talk about his current progress in the involvement of the highly anticipated Disney video game Kingdom Hearts. He didn't say anything about Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, this has very interesting points about it. What I'm leaning towards is two things. One, this could have been a very, very, very good fan dubbing, a fan voiceover of young Xehanort, and that's why it got deeper and it's not on point, I believe. Or, they're providing voices for a upcoming English trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3 that may be shown at TGS this year. Holy shit, they might get Haley Joel Osment's voice and Ben Diskin's voice. Maybe that's why Haley Joel Osment couldn't say anything at San Diego Comic Con, and maybe this is why this dubbing has arisen on the internet. I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you think it sounds a bit like Young Xehanort? Do you think the development process for localization has started? For me, I don't think so, but at this point, you know, pff, anything's possible. But this has me hyped. So if you like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. The most hectic gaming channel that seeks to hit you with hectic knowledge, hype, news, and theories all about Kingdom Hearts, Legend of Zelda, and Super Smash Bros. And if you want to take a look at the Reddit post, I'm going to leave it in the comment section or should I say the description box below. And don't forget to leave a comment and favorite and all that good jazz. It really helped me out a lot and share the channel. So until the next breaking news on Kingdom Hearts 3, I will check you guys later.